All right, folks, we've moved about 10 feet up from where we last were. There's the ladder right there. Here we are looking down the ladder. Hallelujah. Yeah, Hallelujah. All right. The okay, there's the ferry, the lunchbox sitting on it. It hasn't sunk. It hasn't sunk. It's got twin pontoons on each side. That's the lake. That's made the... out of three-gallon buckets. You probably can't see the lake, so listen up. Okay. You hear that? That was a fish jumping. Woo! Ooh, fish. What kind of fish you got in here, Brian? We got the blind piranhas. So we blind never want piranhas. To pass them. Okay. Okay, this is where we do a lot of work from. See, is, this, now, is this where you do a lot of your packing and stuff like that? Yeah, see all this stuff here? It's been shipped across as is in baskets to this side. Okay. And then from here it'd be moved up the ladder, which is about two guys can do that. Okay. Leave it at the end of the rails and out we go with the chain gang. Chain now you don't have a whole lot of room down there, do you, Brian? No, nah, we're actually getting full. When we get them big plates over here, we lose the room fast. These are bubble packs. Okay. These Why don't you show wrap. us one of those? These are gift wrap for our holiday shoppers. Okay. These are bomb proof. According to Mark, you should be able to bubble pack this bubble pack tape and maybe some diapers around the, the main crystal. So there's calcites inside there. And throw them against the wall and they should be able to survive. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, we're going to skip on throwing against the wall today, folks. Yeah, but, we'll uh, that. We don't think we do so good at that. This here. Okay. This tape. The best use for this tape down in this mine on a normal day is like one of these numbers. <laughs> Especially for Brian Huntsman because he can never keep his <laughs> mouth shut. <laughs> and we're going to pause there for a second. Okay, Brian, where are you taking off to? I'm going yonder ways. Whew, there's the other side of the lake. Big cat walk. See how wide and beautiful this lake is? Oh, yeah. Okay. You gotta see the bottom of a, a junk down there. It must be the other side of the world. Okay, so we got a China junk down there. So this is our transport Ooh, there's the waves in the lake. We can actually see the bottom. Yeah. Ooh, we don't want to rock the boat too much. This, rock the uh, boat. Don't rock the boat. Amazing. Rock the boat. Now, this often hangs up first thing in the morning for some reason, but... Uh, okay, so we got a rope tied to each end to pull back and forth, correct? Right. All right. And, and I'm going to go across using merely the hands that were given to me. Okay. And, okay, uh, Brian. Well, listen, we'll see you on the other side then, okay, huh? this part's critical. <laughs> <laughs> that was for Rax. That was for... Uh, oh, that's nice. That was a stunt shot. So see, now I you don't just, use the rope. I use my hands. So you just kind of uh, hand your way over them. These are solid crystals, by the way, that I'm using to guide myself. Here, I'm getting to know the certain amount of these things quite well. All right. Why don't we put the uh, camera on the raft, and then we'll just bring her on down. Okay. Actually, we are coming back up the ladder off the dock. We're going to get an overhead shot of the huntsman going across the lake. Now, directly ahead and up above is what we call the Voodoo Lounge. Another chamber of calcites. But uh, there's a lot of paranormal things that go on up there. We're, we're, we don't like to dig up there too often. Calcites have their own little minds and things. They like to bite. All right, here we are in an upper chamber. Getting ready to take a picture of the Brian coming across on the ferry system. He's coming from the catwalk, the working face. You can see calcites from up here over a ledge hanging over his hanging over his head that he's using to pull himself across. And boy, doesn't the lake just look beautiful. It reminds me of Blue Lagoon, doesn't it you, Brian? Wow, it does look great. Do you, swim it, do you swim in it very often, Brian? No, I'm trying not to. Oh, okay. I haven't had to take a big swim yet. All right, yeah. I've been stuck a couple of times, so one of us is going to have to swim, but waves came in and freed it. All right, yeah, it's throwing off a nice color there. Rock the boat, Veda. Kind of pleasant working, huh? Yeah, actually, but this is a reef right here. We call it the reef because uh, these rubber rafts, too, they like to back up. See, I'm already stuck on a reef, folks. All right. See, you got a lot of maneuverability here. You just don't do anything fancy. Right. See? Now, now, why do you have the rubber raft docked? Well, it's got so many holes in it. Okay, that's one of our extras, right, Brian? Yeah, this is our spare... Uh, it's actually a floating trash garbage bin right yeah. now, folks. We uh, use this to extend the catwalk. We'll go ahead and jump in it. This raft never goes further than this end of the catwalk. We get in this thing... Okay. ...and we go down there to put the joist in to extend the catwalk down the crack. But the crack goes like 150 feet. So what you're saying is, is where the crack... Where the crack's virgin and there's just water, you've actually got to float out into the water... Yeah and secure bolts side to side on the crack right and, and lay a four by four okay across 
from wall to wall. Uh huh. And you go, you're going in what? Uh, let's say eight foot increments. How about that? Yeah. Okay. Eight. All right. Eight. Then you're coming back and laying down the one by oak. Which is very strong. Which is actually making your working platform on the other side. Yes. All right. And well, in order to do that, you have to get the crystals that are from the water level up to about two feet. Okay. Otherwise, the uh, catwalk will go over and cover them, and then some other person would have to come in and mine them at some later date, which we don't want to happen. Oh, yeah. I so, can understand uh, that. Well, listen, Brian, we're going to take off and leave you for a few few minutes and come on across. You want me to bring this raft up to where you're at? <laughs> no, no, I don't think that's enough. All well, the typical cracks that we have to work in. You can see there ain't much room in here. There's only like about two and a half, maybe three feet in places. And you're trying to take these calcites off the floor, off the ceiling. You know, there's a few nice little things laying on the ceiling you got to try to get off. So it really makes life tough back here. We all wear elbow pads and knee pads because even anybody who's collected knows that calcites are sharp. And they will tear you up. Alright folks, here we are. We're going across the lake. We're going to go for the catwalk and look at the working face. The lights are off, it looks like. We're all the big, there is, there's no light. Oh God, huh? Yeah, we're going to move on across here. Let's get focused in on the big B. He's bringing us in. He's tugging away. We want to look at these beautiful calcites you've been telling us about back here, Brian. That's your head, right? Next to that big monster. Alright, yeah, we don't want to get whacked. Yeah, there you go. Okay. A little like right hand turn will dock this thing. Alright, here's a rather nice plate sitting right back on the catwalk just as we came in. Looks like a very recent plate. Oh yeah, looks nice. Got a good one there. All right. We just came from across the way. You can't hardly make out the dock. Came through the crack, across the water. There's the ferry still sitting there. Up onto the dock. Up on the top. And we proceeded back past the ladder. You kind of get a tell for how, how large this crack goes up. It goes up about 35, 40 feet. We collected up near the top, got some nice things, but the place is a little bit too big for us to be bringing down. Yeah, we haven't figured it out yet. We just haven't figured it out. Beautiful stuff up there. There's the high cat walk off the hard deck about 10 feet. You see a basket loaded, ready to go. Here's a nice little booty stash. Nice little booty stash. Booty cow. Booty cow. Booty cow. You can see all the separate pieces, all the individuals. Quite a nice small plate, some few little bigger things here and there. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dan. We're having the most excellent adventure, aren't we? Now, this came right off the footwall side, right up here. Uh, an area covered about two feet high by three feet long. There's the rest of the material right here before the light goes dead. You see all this beautiful stuff that came out in a matter of, oh, it took about 45 minutes to come out. Good. Lie to the bleeding public. I ain't gonna lie to the bleeding public. You see a lot of nice marker site. Wow, does this look good or what? Talk about the booty hole. This is booty bill right here. This is meant for booty shooters. As you can see, we like to work from the bottom of the catwalk up. There's some material that we've got in front of us right now. It's looking pretty good. Probably looking at a week, two weeks worth of work here, just in an eight foot section. There's too much, there's too much to handle. Hmm. Yeah, you're about uh, 10, 12 feet up the crack here. Oh, you're probably about nine feet. further up the crack here. A couple areas that have slid. It's just a bare mud left. Full pan. This is behind us about four feet. 
We still haven't gotten this high due to the fact that we got to work off ladders or scaffolding. We work up to about shoulder height, then we just keep on moving forward.